Okay, welcome back guys. So let's carry on from the laptop. So we changed the lights in the previous lesson. So we need to come back here and then put this back here. This is what we we're using previously. I think this I would zoom down some more. Uh, maybe leave, it the way, leave this the way it is. So I would like to zoom it, zoom it down. Also like to erase, <coughs> erase some of them from the forehead. So I'll just erase some of this. There's something pretty much like so. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to add a new frappers and I want that to be a separate color. A bit more. A bit more brownish. Okay. I don't want to use procedural textures, I'll just make it look a bit. A bit off, or maybe we should also let's give it let's give it a try actually. So I'll duplicate this. Mm, I'm just a brown freckles. Okay. So it should be a bit of a brownish tone to it. For something a bit brown, <clears throat> it should work. Okay, so type black marks. Uh, this brown. Okay, let's try this one. Let's see. There's three. So let the max increase this all the way up. Now hit C on the keyboard. Let's go in here. Let's see. Let's see what we have. We need a bit more space into this now. This is the reference I'm using, so we need a bit more space in. Just out. So I will go to increase the space in a bit more, turn down the brush. Okay. Well, this is working. 
Pick something smaller. I don't know if you saw Lovai's face down. I don't know if you saw Lovai's if it is all over his face. Take this stop and float down. There's something light around here. Something that is not extremely visible but still there. I think I need a bit more on the body. Yeah, I think I'm just symmetry in here. No, you know what? Let's do. Let's do a separate layer for the body instead, so we can easily control them. So I'll just duplicate this. Just name this to body. All the black marks. Maybe we turn off symmetry, so you don't have something too symmetrical. I feel I'm missing some details like some bluish discoloration around where as you cannot grow out like for, for his jaw more or less with something around this beard region. Let's see if I can find yes. Yes, so something like something like this, something pretty much like so. Uh, Let's get done. But I'm going to put that, put this on a lower, very low, on a low, almost underneath the under, under the, let's see, underneath the base red stone. So I'm going to put this just above this, just above this. First of all, let me select all of this and put this in a group. Ah. Uh, Let me name this to top tone. So I'm just going to duplicate this and the black marks. I use more, <clears throat> can be more of a dark brown or greyish tone. Anyone will do, anyone will work. Or even grey. I will use let's not use symmetry. Okay. Take this all the way up. Let's even do anything. Okay, I do something, but it's not very obvious. But if we drag this all the way, 
up here, if you see something in them now, it's not seen. Those are the black marks there again. Just get this around here. So just probably where the air follicles would be. So this around the spots. Also <clears throat> region also so maybe just maybe just a tiny bit on an EDI somewhere around here <clears throat> Just fine. Okay. So I just need to pull it. Somewhere that should not be too sharp to see. Okay, let's see. Let's see how well that does. <clears throat> I think it's better around here. The brown frappers are all over the place, so let's turn down the brown frappers on the on the face. Um, okay. Okay, I think this is one that is a bit too much. A little down a bit. Okay, I think this should be fine. Okay, I focus for the body. Take this down some more. Okay, I like so it should be fine. Now for the lips. Some more details for the lips. Okay. So let's uh, duplicate. Let me duplicate this instead. This frappe face instead. Push this up. Are the black marks? Seems to be a good time to use symmetry. Put the black marks. Get that all the way up. Is 
let's get some blush for the lips <laughs> looks way looks way too painted though but that's fine we'll go to do all that down later on so we need a darker tone with the more darker tone um let me see if I can find something a bit closer. So I will duplicate this to give it a much a more darker tone to it, something like this. Or the black marks. Um okay. And I would use a bit map marks. And I'm going to be using the core virtual map for this. Okay, so I'm going to do an inverse of this. Yeah, I need it to be on, on an inverse. So I'll group this now and add the black marks to this group. And I can paint this where I want it to be. So I'll just bring this back out in specific specific region, especially on the depth wrinkle of the lips. That's basically what I'm going to do. Just to break the uniformity of the colors in there. Okay, that's fine. Then the base color for this probably soon is down some more. Okay. Okay, you can see how the upper part of the lip is a bit whitish. So I'll just duplicate it. I'll just create a new layer. Create a new layer. For this layer, I'll turn off everything apart from color and roughness. Roughness will be around here. Can I use this brush? Yeah, I can. So what I'm going to do is to hit P on the keyboard to kind of sample a color close to it. And I'm going to be painting that color. Let me take down the opacity and the flow. And I'm going to be painting that color over this. Use the positive bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, something like mm. something like so. All right, so what? I need to do one more. I need to duplicate this darker shade. Let me name this to lip. Dark 
car shit. What are other cards on whichever one you prefer to use? Also, let me make sure I'm saving this file also. Very important. Let me copy this. Paste this here. Keep that car. Let me just name this to Edge. So I'm going to add the black mask to this and I'll push this out of that group. Let me just name this to that car. Done. So this should be underneath this like so underneath under this layer let me just name this to layer uh, sample okay so back into this I the black marks use my brush size so basically what I want to do is to add to paint the darker sheet around here. So it's like more like more like a transition from a darker lip tone to more a brighter lip tone on the edge. That's basically what I'm trying to do. Let me do a bit more on top of this. Okay. Let's see the effects of that. Maybe turn it down some more. It's not like so, it should be fine. Okay. Okay. What else? What else? What else are we missing? I see some redness around the lower parts of the chin. So let's let's get that in. I think we should let me just use this on the frap face, the red tone instead. I hit this. So we're just going to add some redness around here. Let's look for other areas that need some more redness. Yeah, underneath the nose. Okay. <clears throat> you can see how with the what's it called? The albedo map without light information. How slightly details the lips are. <coughs> the lips are it's precisely what we want. So let me just add some more redness to the lip kind of. Like so also some more redness around the ear okay let's see if there's any other parts that are missing out I feel like I should brighten up the lower parts a bit more. White stone. I feel like we should introduce more whites. Brighter white stone. For not symmetry. Do we need any? Do we need, do we need that on it? Let's see if we can. Let's add some more brightness to the face, kind of. It's not super obvious, but still, still picking through this.
What else? I think we are done for the most part. Let's try other light setup in here. Let's see what we have. Let me just first do a quick save. Let's try it to Marco Studio. Yeah. Ah, I would argue that I might need some more. We need some more whiteness on the chest region. I'm trying to, trying to be very conservative with the colors I'm adding on top of this now. Very, very conservative. Maybe I should just duplicate this. Okay, okay. Okay, that's one way to go about it. You can see how duplicating it kind of brightens the color a bit more. Let's go one more. No, that doesn't that doesn't actually do much. But if I drag this up here, it should do a bit more a bit up here. <laughs> Okay, now this is one white looking male, which is kind of similar to what we, what I'm actually going for actually. Maybe if I turn this down, yeah, I think I'll need to increase it. So if you on the eyes, I think this is more of the look I'm aiming for. Yes, this is more the look I'm going for. Yes. Let me just do a quick save. Let me see if there's something else I'm supposed to add in here. I think one thing I would like to experiment with would be experiment with would be this purple veins. Duplicate this, drag this out, drop this here. Let's see. Take it all the way up. It's here on the keyboard. Let's see if that's. Yeah, I see it. I see it, but. Yeah, this is definitely breaking up the surface even more. You can see if I should go to the air, should on the air. Okay. You can see some of this poking, picking through. Okay. Yeah, you can see it's all over at the back. So let's just I think I have a better idea. Let's just drag this all the way here. Maybe down here instead. No, no, let's take it up. Around here should be fine. Let's let's see up here. And I'm going to um add another few layer to this therefore this few layer i will add a cloud let's see let's use this cloud too and i'm going to use multiply in here it's more or less like a kind of subtraction technique kind of subtract what you already have done here like a maxim for it 
refresh it see let's look for the let's look for the maps so nothing is actually working in here it's not so obvious see it on the same trapping and mapping if i increase the balance you can see you can see how this brings this up even more if i randomize this Randomize this again. Okay. Let's see on the keyboard again. I'm going to try to get this. Can this be and just let us add another field. Um, this I'm going to be using the BW. Um, let me use this instead. So let's do for mapping. For mapping, and then uh, oh yes. Multiply. Let me turn off this cloud for now. Yeah, I think this is a better one. This is a better one to use. A better one to use. The only thing we need to do now is just to blend this down even more. Yeah, it's still clearly visible though, so I need to take this down even more. Okay, yeah, I think this should be fine. <clears throat> so it should just be like almost like an undertone detail that is not very obvious, but on close up shot, it's a bit visible as you can see. Slightly visible. Maybe I should even add. A tiny bit of height to it. So very, 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 very tiny bits. Instead of 0 0.04, let me use 0 0.0. Let's try 0 0.01. Yeah, I can see it. You can see it's actually there, but it's not very obvious. So I'll do one more pass for this. So I'm just going to duplicate this, and I'll be using a more more of a greenish tone to it. So let me scroll down to where I have this dark green, and I'll just pick this green tone. So I'll just come into this marble, and then let's increase this first. Let's see what we have. Yeah, I think we need something a bit more. Brights, maybe even a red one, probably a red one should be better instead. But I think a red one should be better. So, we'll just have to start by randomizing this, randomizing this, and then. Let's go in here. Okay. Uh, maybe turn this on. This. Maybe turn this cloud so on just to see. And we randomize this. Okay. Yeah, this should work. Only that we need to turn this down a bit more. It's there, but not very obvious. Which is precisely what we want. Uh, let's see. 
let's see. I know, right? I'm going overboard with video bots. That's completely fine. It's precisely what I want. Okay, I think it should work. The quick save, it should work just fine. Because only when you kind of get a closer view on this, you actually see those very detailed picking outs. Not extremely obvious, but they are actually in there, which is cool. Another thing I'd like to try is just to let me do a quick save. Let's actually sub surface capturing in here. So let's see. Let's see how that looks. So, um, could I bring that in actually? Okay, yes. S S S S S S S S S S S I don't know where to I should put this. Where should I will put it? Let, let me duplicate this because this is the tone of this is gonna be the tone for the subspace scattering. So remove let me name this to it's supposed to be red. Red name this to SSS. Hide everything else. Here, let me leave this turn on scattering. Yeah, it's not active yet because we need to come in here, scroll down to activate subsurface scattering. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it's working now. <clears throat> the only thing there is that with the color. Okay, let's turn, let's turn up that color actually helps. Turning up the color actually helps. But you don't want to go overboard, so overboard because it's just gonna, going to over softening the entire thing. So, but at least it gives a little more, there's a huge difference now because this looks, this looks and feels a bit more like actual skin in there. So, you don't want to go overboard. Just enough to give this to give us the idea that this is skin. Maybe a bit more, maybe probably a bit more. Let me use the eyes as a good reference point. Can I figure this out? Yeah, I think this is as good as 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 it should be. Anything above that would just be completely weird. Okay. Alright, this should work. Just give us an idea that this is skin. I can see how it softens the edge of the eyelid, so which is giving us a good appearance of skin, especially on a close up shots. Okay. Let's do quick save. So I believe I believe we are done with everything that has to do with the with the skin. Except maybe you still want to by yourself make some operations to it if you're fine and nothing. That is completely fine and completely up to you. Uh, I want to kind of add some more redness to the nose, tone of symmetry. Some more redness to the nose, maybe probably too much. Yeah, something like this, maybe a bit more around the corners of the eye. Oh, yeah, definitely some more, definitely a lot of redness in here. So, internal autonomous symmetry for this need redness here. No doubt about that. Ok, 
Okay. Then we can take this down. Those things some around the edge. Alright, good enough. Should be good enough. Okay. Right. You see. Me? I believe we can rest easy now, knowing that we have captured something good enough. So the next part we just going to be eating. Um, eye. That will be the eye. The next area of focus is the eye. Let's show this. Let's show the nipples some more love. Oh. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.